From the 1st of January onwards, ever since this set released on the Japanese server, nothing on any upload, any upload in this entire, you know, 10 days that, as I'm recording this, has passed. Every upload has been like, still no Daikaiser Deccan fight, still no Daikaiser Deccan fight, still no Daikaiser Deccan fight. Worry not, folks. I finally, finally got a list for you. So, as some of you may or may not know, Daikaiser is my all-time favorite card. It is the break ride for Dimension Police, and it's basically the card that kind of propelled my interest for the game over time as well. Now you know, I already have a full video talking about why I main DP, why this card is important to me, and all those kind of things, but, you know, this is zero. Today we're looking at how this card is looking in zero and what the best build around the break ride actually is, and I've done a fair bit of testing to really see which variant really is the best, and we've done a lot of refining. Also, WCC's Kai has helped me quite a bit. You know, we've been both really, we're both quite passionate about Dimension Police, so we've both been kind of like theorizing and coming up with deck lists, and so here is a deck list that I've kind of ended up with. And yes, I am back on PC this time with Blue Stack, so unfortunately no more, you know, buggy uh, phone cams anymore. We are here with the actual PC version. Well, not the PC version, but at least something on PC with Blue Stack. So here is the the list of Daikaiser and Great Dayusha. So of course I am missing my last SP copy because I'm really low on rare materials, but don't worry, we will get there eventually. So you know, here is His Majesty himself. But of course, let me break down the deck itself because this deck, honestly, like the buffs they've given the deck are ridiculously good, and now the deck feels really, really solid. The reverse Dayusha is built quite differently and functions similar in some ways but quite different in other ways so i'm gonna make a separate video for reverse daisha itself this one is specifically for the great daisha variant and so we're gonna focus more on that today so first things first the starter has changed to die magnum die magnum is pretty straightforward his skill is you put him into the soul to give another uh, your vanguard actually plus 5k power for that turn now why do we do this you're about to find out so first things first, our ideal ride target is the Die Brave. Die Brave says, in the soul you can kill almost one and put this card into the drop zone, for, and then for that turn your vanguard gets the following skill. When the attack hits the opponent's vanguard, you draw one. So it's basically kill almost one, draw one, is what this card says. But in some situations where you get to do Laurel and actually like swing and hit with the vanguard twice, that actually gets you to draw two. Those situations come up really, really rarely, but they're still sometimes, you know, worthy to consider until so you don't want to soul blast this out maybe too early sometimes, but in other situations, you just soul blast it as soon as turn two, basically, to just keep drawing cards. Then, of course, we have the new PG, Dimensional Robo named PG, so that's also very nice. Uh, in this deck, we don't care about Dimensional Robos outside of, well, Great Dayusha's dimension, two, two or more Dimensional Robos in the soul, which is pretty easy to achieve now as well. So, then... We're running three Gold Cannon. This card is very important for this deck, and I'll explain its function once we've talked about everything else in general. Uh, so Gold Cannon says, if your Vanguard is a Dayusha, you can put this unit into your soul, as well as another Dimensional Robo Rearguard. So it has to be Dimensional Robo, so keep that in mind. And if you do, for that turn, your Vanguard gains plus one critical. So it has to be a Dayusha Vanguard. So you cannot give this extra critical to Daikaiser, for example. It has to be any one of your other grade threes, basically. But that is also a very important skill that we'll talk about later. And finally, play two Laurels still. Um, you can adjust this if you don't have Laurel. You can kind of like play four Go Cannons and maybe like one Laurel or one of... I'm trying to think of what else. I guess Die Tiger, the 10k attacker, but I still think two Laurel is nice. Laurel if you don't know what it does, rearguard circle when your vanguard's attack hits, rest four rearguards, can include himself, to restand your vanguard. So this is, this card has been getting kind of like, compared to how good it was in the TCG, it's been getting worse and worse in zero with a lot of the card skill changes a little bit, but it's still a pretty nice card and there are some pretty cool functions for it that I'll talk about once we go through this deck list. So first big boy MVP of the deck is Die Hard. Die Heart, this was actually a very important card for me in Premium, in the TCG, for quite some time, but now he's made a amazing return in Zero as well because they buffed him too. So, Die Heart says, at the beginning of the attack that he, or rather, he says, when his attack hits a Vanguard, if before that attack his power was 13k or higher, then you can put one grade 3 dimensional robo from your hand into your soul, and if you do, search your deck for any grade 3 dimensional robo and ride it as rest. So this card is fantastic. Now, that's the reason why we run Die Magnum, because by simply by riding Die Heart on turn 2, you slide in the starter, put him on 14k, so you hit the power threshold here, and then on top of 
of that, you can put any grade 3 from your hand to just securely search out Daikaiser immediately, and then you can break right the next turn, even if they rush you. So, a lot of decks that, you know, like, the main, like, a funk, like, a thing that they often do against break right decks, you know, to counter them, is to just, like, rush them to 4 as soon as possible, so that they only ride up on their grade 3 the first time when they're on 4, so then it's too late for them to break right. But Die Hard lets you counteract that. And then, of course, being able to put any Dimensional Robo grade 3 in the soul means you can put your regular Daisha into the soul, that then when you ride the Great Daisha by break riding, it's a cross ride too, which is really, really nice. So this card, it used to need to put two Dimensional Robo grade 3s from your hand into your soul for its skill. Now it only needs one, and that is fantastic. Absolutely amazing buff. However, the deck still doesn't really have much natural draw outside of Die Brave, so we are running four Mikas. Mika, this was especially a suggestion from WCC Sky, uh, because I think that it really does help on hit Kalmas 2 to draw 1 still helps a lot to make sure you don't run out of resources and keep it, you know, keep everything going. Four 12k attackers when you have a Dimensional Robo Vanguard. Almost every card in this deck is the Dimensional Robo except for Mika and Laurel. So, you know, you always have this 12k attacker uh, power. And then one tanky vanilla just because it's Dimensional Robo. And then finally, of course, the Great 3. So, of course, the man of the show, Kaiser himself. I The moment I see his animation, you know, my, my face lights up. I'm always happy. I never skip it. It's just way too good. But, so, he is the break right for Dimension Police. And he says, Kalmas 1 when you break right over him, give your Vanguard plus 10k and a crit and the following ability vanguard circle once per turn this is a change once per turn when you drive check a grade 3 unit for that battle when your opponent would uh perfect guard they have to perfect guard with two perfect guards at once and so this skill is really good because it basically tells your opponent if you don't have two pgs in your hand you are going to lose here on the spot and that's the situation you always want to be putting them into on top of that he says when he's boosted he gains plus 3k which is pretty relevant but now that's the reason the reason why i say this once per turn thing is because that means that you cannot like swing into you, can, you cannot break ride swing into rear guard or something and then like or for example like break ride and then let's say they're on one damage right so you swing at them with a crit and give them two damage but during that first battle you check the grade three which triggered his ability and then even if with Ro laurel you restood him and gave them another two or three damage that and you still check a grade three on that second battle you will not proc the guard break ability of asking for two pgs simply because it's a once per turn ability so the moment you check that first grade three on the drive check that he attacks, that's it. That's the ability used up, so you have to be careful with that, and, you know, especially be careful with when it comes to Laurel. So, now, of course, so this gives, you know, TLDR, this card gives plus 10k and a crit, and the ability to ask for two PGs when you are protecting against the Vanguard's attack. Now, of course, plus one crit is nice, but what if we made it plus two crit? So, that's where Great Daisha comes in. Great Daisha says, let him break four when he attacks the Vanguard. On Vanguard Circle, if you have two or more dimensional robots in your soul, so basically, that Magnum goes in soul, your grade zero, or like grade one, grade two, grade three, like Daikais are in your soul, then he gains plus two K and a crit. And of course, he's a cross ride with regular Daisha. So with this, we put ourselves in a pretty cool situation against most decks where we don't need to ever give them four damage because we can essentially just go into die kaiser which either by drawing him or by having die heart and then after we break right into great daisha we swing with a plus two crit so for three total damage and then if they have the two pgs and they manage to pg it perfect great or if we don't check a grade three and then you know they just pg with one thing that's fine too we just swing in rears or we just pass leave them on three don't give them the break ride next turn we're sitting on great daisha keep that in mind there we can use die magnum to amp up the crit once again, because Great Daisha has plus one crit from himself, he has now lost the plus one crit from Daikaiser because he's no longer on the break right turn, but we can fix that with Go Cannon, and by that stage of the game, usually you've drawn into at least one Go Cannon to be able to do that. And on top of that, if you didn't have the Daisha earlier, you can, you know, Go Cannon lets you slide any Dimensional Robo into your soul together with him, so you can slide in the regular Daisha for the cross ride, or the Die Hard to be able to draw another card if you want to, you know? So for that reason, it's really, really good. Finally, the regular Daisha. Um, we, if we do ride him, it's usually like our only grade three or something, and it's usually not the kind of situation you want to be in. And thanks to Die Hard, we can usually avoid those situations too. Count almost two to give him plus two K for that turn. And then finally, when he attacks the Vanguard, if before the attack his power is 14 K or higher, for that battle gains a crit. You can, if you do have to ride into him and you still have the starter alive, you can put the starter into Soul to give him 5K and instantly trigger the plus one crit. So with that skill, it's pretty good. Usually going to use him for that final skill though to from hand 
just basically just banish him to randomly add anything between a die battles, die lander, die mariner, or die dragon to your hand uh, at random. So, you know, that's that. And then finally, I'm playing one reverse Daisha as a tech because this card is still pretty good. I think it's actually worse than Great Daisha because you have to work extra hard for the extra crit that Great Daisha gives you for free, basically. So his skill is Limbrick 4, Kalmas 1, lock two of your dimensional robo rearguards, and then for that turn, one of your opponent's units loses 10k power. If a rearguard is to drop to zero power or lower, then it is retired. And then his second skill is kind of the reason why uh, he's kind of built around is when he attacks a 6,000 power or lower vanguard, then for that battle he gains a crit. The reason why I'm focusing on Great Daisha instead is that, so basically if you use the skill in the opponent's vanguard, they drop to 1k, right? If you do use it once. You can use it twice by locking four of your dimensional robo rearguards, which is pretty expensive. So if you use it twice, they go to nine, minus nine basically. So then if they take one defensive trigger, they go down, well, back down up to uh, my, to my, to just 1k, just 1k. But thing is, if you use the skill once, and then you attack them with something else, and let's say they just go up to, they take one trigger, if they take like a non-trigger defensive, they go up to six, so this extra crit still procs, but if they get a defensive trigger, they go back up to 11, his extra crit fades, and that is not good. So we try to avoid that, and yeah, so basically that's what the deck is, let's finally, oh my god, 11 minutes of explaining, let's get into it and play some games. And of course when I do the reverse Taisha deck and fight, which will be later in this month somewhere, uh, I'll definitely be using reverse Kote because that one goes extra hard for the voice lines, like, if y'all have been watching the streams, you'll have seen. Alright, so Link Joker! This is actually not that bad of a matchup, depending on what they write first. If they sit on infinite zero, we're actually quite okay. But of course, it depends on our opening hand. Oh no, this POV? Alright. Okay, so look at this hand, right? So this hand, I'm actually going to keep the heal because I can slide into my soul and then break right into Great Daisha. So this hand is actually looking pretty okay. Um, this is maybe like the reason why you might go like, uh, maybe it's better to put a draw on the Daisha rather than this, but honestly... Whether you put heal on Dayusha or Great Dayusha, it feels like they're both just as essential and you want to see them fairly early, but also you don't mind if they come up late either. So yeah. Alright, so basically this hand is looking pretty solid for us because we are able to essentially just, you know, go up to grade 1 and then go up to Die Heart and start popping off. Of course, the only problem will be, the only problem will be if she goes into the... Uh, Mobius Breath unlocks our starter. That's when we start sweating a little bit, so we have to be a little bit careful with that. But we can still give her the one damage here without really worrying about too much. We didn't open with the Die Brave, so we don't get the early draw, but it's kind of okay. So let's see how it goes. But normally this is a, you know, Schwarz Shield Dragon deck, so normally this has to have the Grade 1, right, to lock. So yeah, we're fine. Alright, cool. Good, good, good. Very nice. Alright, so we got a Die Brave. Man, it's, it's the, the animations and like the gameplay isn't going to be as smooth as it used to be on the PC version, purely because, you know, it's it's not the PC version. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see here. We can push her to 3, but I don't think she's going to push me to 3. Let's use a starter first, just to give the extra power and search for Dykeiser. Oh, I'm getting excited just thinking about Dykeiser already. Ooh. Um, I'm thinking if I want to push here, but I think I don't. I think I want to leave her on 2 here, and then let her push me to 3 at least. If 4, we can even break right regular Daisha or something. Because um, then we can push 1 damage into the face. It's very tempting to give this one. I'm just worried that I'm going to be stuck on 3 in an awkward situation. And we're going to be just like trading rears for a while and just like freeze each other at 3 damage. So for that reason, I'm kind of careful here. I think I want to just swing here though, to be honest. You kind of have to read the situation of a lot of these games and just like see where you want to go with it, to be honest. Alright, so get ready. Here it comes. Here it comes. Alright, so... We put the Dayusha into the soul and from the deck. There we go, baby. My man is here. All right, the man of the hour, absolutely amazing. So now we are basically sitting on grade three before opponent even gets to grade three, even though they went first. So that's also pretty cool. So. Especially if you go first, you get to sit on grade 3 while they have to be riding up to grade 2. There's also cool interaction with Laurel where you can hit with the Die Magnum, right? And then have four other rear guards. First, you search for the grade 3 and then you use Laurel skill to rest for and restand the grade 3 Vanguard. So that's also cool interaction with Laurel. That's the reason why I also play him on top of everything else that I have in the deck, too. All right. So I think here this, this is looking pretty straightforward for me. Uh, we're going to ride skip, of course. 
We want to set up a Mika to keep making sure that we draw cards here. And I think that we can stop there, to be honest. I'm a little bit worried of getting rushed down, but I don't... I'm more worried of him just, like, swinging a van and passing. I think that's probably what's going to happen, because he also respects my... He also respects my, um, my break ride, you know? A lot of other decks, they're afraid of the Dykeiser, because if they don't have two PGs in hand, then you kind of have to do something about it, right? So I'm going to swing a rear here just to see how he's going to act, but I've definitely... I've tried to play games where I'm essentially just, like, trying to, like grind them out at three damage with link joker matchup specifically and it just doesn't really work out it really doesn't work out in those situations and you have to be way more careful than normally and i don't have pgs either so let's just see i think he oh he's gonna give me the break right okay 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 all right we got a draw into a pg that's also very good for me all right there's gonna be one to pass first check nothing second check gets a draw it's a chaos as well so that's uh you know impending doom impending doom definitely coming right up and we get a heal going down to 4 damage, that's also really hot. Now, here, if we don't draw into Great Dayusha, which we don't, I think we just go into regular Dayusha and keep him at 3, I think. And then that way, if we draw into Great Dayusha later on, we can just cross right over it. We'll be at 10k base, but it's not that big of a deal, I think. So I think we can go ahead and just do this. You could argue that it'd be more worth it to go into regular regular Dykeiser again, but keep in mind you only get plus one crit, and if you want to lock them out of break riding and stuff, then that's like the only way to do it. Otherwise I give them four damage and then my front row is going to start getting locked, and with just one PG in hand I'm not going to survive either, so that's another thing to keep in mind. So I think this is a fine move overall, I think it's actually okay because this will be three crit with a guard break, so I think for that reason we're pretty okay. Alright, so let's just call down the Dimagnum that's spare over here, and I guess we can just swing rear, swing van, and then swing rear after that, so no need to commit too many resources, kind of keep them around and just wait around. So let's see here if we check a grade 3 to proc the Die Kaiser's break right effect. First check nothing, second check nothing as well. That is going to be just a regular PG. All right, so now, now we're in an interesting situation because we need to draw into Die Magnum to now power up Daisha's, you know, yet another crit basically. Um, we don't really have any way to give him the extra crit now, so we need to also draw into the Great Dayusha as well, whenever, you know, as soon as possible. So that's also a pretty interesting situation. He's moving in a peculiar way as well, makes me think that he's got a lot of Great Threes in hand, maybe, or PGs. But, you know, that's at least the first one that we got rid of just there. Alright, so, we didn't believe hard enough in being able to find the, the Great Dayusha there. Oh, that's actually pretty good. That's pretty good too. I'm just thinking if I'm... I don't want to get punished for... I don't want to get punished for... Not pushing hard enough. But I have, like, virtually no way to... Like, power up here, you know? Uh, so I think we ride skip here. Rewriting Dykeiser is not worth it either. Mika can help me dig for more cards. I'm just thinking if it's worth it to, like... Uh, I don't even know. I don't even know. It's like, swing rear... Power up from triggers and then swing, like, swing with another rear in and then swing with Van. I think it's not. I think then I risk just not hitting at all. So I think in this scenario, I want to just, like, play a bit defensive with my field, maybe. And just do something like this and pass on the three and just, like, draw into the Great Dayusha, basically, and just sit on the cross ride with the extra crit there. So I'll just go in with the Mika, use our Cannon Blast here, and then just pass. I think that's fine. Great Dayusha acquired. Perfect. Alright, we can pass here. No problem. Alright, so we lock him out of break riding. Make him keep calling down cards as well. And he has to basically like put down an intercept every turn. Otherwise, he's going to be in big trouble. So that's also important to know. Alright, let's see. No break rides for you. I don't have Cattle Blast, but I don't really care anymore. Like, all my Cattle Blast, like, you probably noticed that the only Cattle Blast in the whole deck are Dykeiser. And, I mean, reverse Dayusha if you ever go into him, and Mika, that's, and I guess Die Brave if you do use him, but it's pretty rare they even go into that, so, you know, it's it's a pretty, pretty cool deck in that sense, we'll just put it that way. Alright, so that's my intercepts getting blown apart. Another great Dayusha, alright, let's just cross right. We've gone through three, all three <laughs> iterations of Kote's non-evil boss units. Daisha. All right. Mm hmm. I guess we just call this down here. He's gonna lock my grade two. He's gonna lock my grade two, and be able to pummel me in. 
And I feel like he still has another PG, so it feels really, really risky to be doing this. But I feel like he can just, like... He can't kill me next turn, but then it's like, how many more turns do I have to try and draw into the Gokannon? How many Gokannons do we even have left in the deck? One? I don't think it's worth trying to get into that. So I'm gonna have to just kind of, you know, play his game here, in a way. Get this extra crit with a great Dayusha. And let's see where this goes. Ah, the PG would have been great there. Ah, no! That reveals to my opponent that I'm starving. I'm starving. Please feed me, sir. Um, we just trade the rear, but this is going to be really nasty. He definitely has great threes to break right here. This might be an L. This might just be an L. Let's find out what he break rides into. Probably the chaos. I would not be too surprised. All right, here we go. Schwarzschild. Okay, staying true to the Suiko here. All right, that's fine. So he's going to triangle lock me, I guess. Not even using the break ride effect? Oh, that's interesting, okay. Was he just holding on to all this? But for what reason? He needs a booster behind... Oh, I think he sh probably should have done like this here, maybe? Maybe he has another one, but let's see. This game's a crit, so we can attack Vanguard first to take the PG out of me. But otherwise, I think I'm in a bit of a pickle here. Just a tiny bit of a pickle. Oh, I'm out of heals too! Uh-oh, I'm in a big old pickle. <laughs> Wait! I'm fine. Ah, uh, but he has two intercepts, so I'm not very fine. <laughs> Oops! Uh-oh, not my last goal cannon. Anything but that. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Whatever shall I do? I guess I'll just swing it rear. Oh, drawn to PG? Nope, they're all at the bottom of my deck. Oh, my God. Yeah, like, this is... This wasn't optimal. And I think now we just lose. So it's a bit unfortunate that things have to end like this, especially in the first game, but it, this matchup in particular is also quite weird, I guess is the best way to put it. The matchup is weird in the sense that you try to lock them out of, like, their break ride, but it's the one deck that can, like, if you give them time to amass PGs, they can just pop off on you, but you can't really rush them early either because you need your rearguard swings to actually manage to, you know, conquer them as well. So that's that. But, you know, it's only game one. Only game one. Let's run it back. Man, how is it that I get win streaks on stream, off stream, everything? The moment the camera starts rolling for, for these videos that are going to be like the, the monument to show that this deck is amazing. It's like, nope, nope, sorry bro. He's just like my pulls. When I needed him the most, he wasn't there until the last moment. Which means that we're going to lose this game and then game three is going to be perfect. <laughs> if there is a game three. Alright, here we go. Let's see who our opponent will be up next. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Alright, and it's gonna be Aqua Force, okay. I've actually been playing Aqua Force myself a fair bit lately, you know, kind of preparing for Tetra Drive and stuff, or preparing to present Tetra Drive. Um, so I haven't really faced against it myself that often, so it's actually quite rare. Really good opening hand. Again, I'm gonna keep the Dayusha here, because we need a grade 3 to put into the soul. I mean, even here, like, this is just a nice extra card to have, basically. So keep in mind with Die Hard, of course, you are thinking your deck of another grade 3 that you could be checking on the break right turn, but it's quite alright. Ripples, too. Well, that's interesting. All right. We'll just ride into Die Brave and pass. So we're going to be on grade three on his turn, too. I think against this deck, we can actually rush him a little bit, too. So I'm going to probably adapt aggressive maneuvers <laughs> into this next turn. All right. So let's see how this goes. The nice thing is that having the reverse, Ayusha gives us an option for cross break ride as well, which is pretty good. Ooh, he whiffed the... This whiff is actually really important for us because I can call Die Dragon here and actually kind of rush. So we can go like this. I think I'm gonna draw now off the Die Brave. I don't see a Laurel anywhere nearby, so I think we just go with this. And so let's use the Die Brave here. Kalmas 1, remove him from the Soul, get the extra on hit draw effect. And then here it's like, this will be 12. If we hit a trigger, it'll be 17, so it hits for magic numbers. If not, whatever. All right, check draw into a PG. Very nice. It's definitely good. All right, this is definitely the Ripples. All right, so order matters here. You wanna be searching the Grade 3 first, so we put the Dayusha in here. All right, get in there, and then we, of course, Superior Break Ride. Kai! <laughs> you can't not get hyped from seeing that, you know? You just can't not get hyped. It's too good. My son is back. I also love that they actually, like, gave him the full treatment of, like, the beautiful high-definition, like, Obadi animation. Not like, you know, it's still ripped from the anime, but it feels like they, they re-rendered it 
purely for this, you know? I feel like no other card, outside of like Perfect Riser and Pacifica, I think, have this level of quality in their animation. So, definitely very nice. Alright, my man is denying me... denying me advantage, which is an interesting move on his part. Now, I don't need to... I don't want to get too cocky here. Um, so I want to be a little bit careful with my aggression or approach. Let's just push him to four here. Um, if he checks the defensive, this won't actually hit, so... Nice! Alright, give him the four. And then this way, he can have his break ride or limit break, whatever he wants to do here. Uh, all I'm asking him for is to give me damage so I can use my, my Mika. So that'd be great. Alright, Genovia's coming through, Revon coming down. And what else is going to happen? So his limit break again is combo two Persona Blast to restand all your rear guards. So let's see if he's going to do that. He called a Genovius, which tells me something at least. But I feel like it's too early. I feel like it's too early. At least I think so. Ooh, healing. So he still gets to do it actually, even after healing, which is actually quite all right for me. I think he's going to restand. All right, we get a defensive. Never mind. He's not going to restand. Never mind. He's gonna search, that's that's for sure. But there's no reason to restand because I mean it doesn't hit any numbers. And I feel like it doesn't have the extra card either, so. Uh I don't mind giving him limit break again, to be honest with you. To be completely honest, to keep it to keep it a hundred. This is the kind of deck I don't mind rushing, even though this deck is made for like, you know, denying limit break and all that kind of stuff, but what would happen if I let him rush me? I could set up both intercepts, so he has to like swing, intercept, intercept, swing with this, take me to 4 and then to 5 and then PG procs and then we're fine. I think I can actually afford to do that in that case. I think I can afford to do that in that case. Alright, let's just call it like, like this, and then swing, and then check 1, check 2, PG, that's okay. Alright, here, no defensive, cool, we can push him to 5 here. He's on 3 cards in hand, no intercepts, so he has to like recall cards. He has had 0 defensive this entire game and I feel really bad for that. I know how it feels to be on the receiving end of this experience, and, you know, but please, also, don't double heal now, <laughs> that'd also be great. Okay, he's overcalling grade twos, as he should be, as he should be, alright, this is the counter charger, it's a really good extra card that Aquaforce got in this set, so I think that's also gonna be helping him a tad, helping him a little bit, alright, he's gonna give me the break right here, healing as well, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, alright, alright, so next turn... I'm thinking we could Daikaiser over Daikaiser too. Ooh, Genovius found. Skill. Used. Okay. So this won't give him the extra power, but he can actually swing with the the countercharger for 20 and still hit. So this doesn't hit, but the 20k hits so he can countercharge, which is good for future turns as well. My two go cannons are gone. So that's kind of interesting. And then he has two cards in hand. Life on the line. I have seven triggers left in deck. What are my chances? <laughs> what are my chances? I think I want to sit on the cross right here. Potentially already. And... Essentially we can like... I can lock this and this to minus 10k on this to retire it. And then swing with a diehard into this. And then swing with Vanguard with the extra crit and the cross right number. I feel like the cross right number might help here. So I kind of want to go into that. And let's see. Sadly, no lines though. Oh, and I think you don't get the animation for the break ride. Or do you? Do you? No, you still do. There we go. The world still shows up. Very beautiful. Alright, cool. <laughs> Alright, so here's what we do. Uh, we're going to call this back here. And then we're going to use this skill to minus 10k on this. So we can retire the intercept. You know, doing very zeal-esque things, I guess you can say. Uh, only one intercept in hand, so we're going to have to be a little bit careful. But should be still all right. So we swing with this, and then we of course swing with the break right effect inherited on the reverse Dayusha, and we get the guard break. So he needs two PGs to guard this, otherwise it's gonna be dead. All right, here we go. Oh, he had it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm in danger. <laughs> all right, he can only call down one more attacker, so I think I'm fine no matter what. This is. Does this have to hit? Takuma Shuryo. Battery no Shirio! Ah! It doesn't have to hit! It doesn't have to hit! I'm scared! I'm scared! Mom, pick me up! I'm scared! <laughs> no! Ripples! Stay, stay in 2016! No, 2015! Please! Go back to 2015 and never come back. 
Go back to 2015 and never show your face again. Ooh, it was a PG, I see. Alright, moment of truth. He's swinging, so he's gonna try to hit that Genovius. But wait, he's already three down, right? Draw. That's not good. He's already three down, but I'm still worried. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Moment of truth. Alright, never mind. He didn't draw into anything. We are absolutely fine. Uh, we don't have Kanobas, so what we have to do here is essentially we can just cross ride. We can re rewrite the Great Ayusha to get the extra crit here and just finish him off with this. If he drew a PG, then so be it, but I think he doesn't have any more. Hold on. One PG on the board, two PGs discarded just now. It could be. It could be, but I'm going to bet on the fact that it's not. Uh, so what would, I, what would I do in attacks here? I would promote this, put a booster behind it for 18, and put the Laurel here for 14, and then we're good. All right, let's go into Great Ayusha. Screw it. Here we go. Hot. God, these games are... These games are something else, man. <laughs> We're literally summoning the entire squad to, to win these games. We have to depend on the entire squad. Alright, here we go. Get in there. Kureto! Daesha! Heal, good. Alright, cool. Give the power here, just in case. Into a PG. Alright, go! Cool. Kureto Justice! Ah, oh, no, 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 no! The last heal! Not the last heal, bro. <laughs> Not the last heal. Oh my lord. <laughs> I hate everything. I hate everything. <laughs> no, I don't use Laurel here. We just swing your rears. We just swing your rears. Who am I kidding? He has one card in hand. I'm on cross ride. We just swing your rears. Oh my god. Why is this taking like 150% of my power to just get two wins. <laughs> this is normally so... Of course. Of course. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> You're kidding me! You're kidding me! Am I just... Is is justice not flowing through me? Is this... Is the 10th of January just... Not... Is the day I just turn off? Justice? I did everything. I showed like... I, I summoned the entire Super Robo War squad. And it still wasn't enough. I cannot believe it. Absolutely... Disgusting. <laughs> We're doing it again. Is it just that like... During this la these last few days that I've been like playing other decks to prepare for future Deccan fights? Have I just been like, oh, it's the same guy. Oh my god. We get the run back. We get the run back against the Ripple guy. But he's going first this time. Alright, here we go. We are opening the Die Hard very consistently. I almost want to keep some of the other cards, but we need a grade 3 really bad, so I'm gonna put these three back. Ooh, great Dayusha to put back? That's not too hot, but I'll do it if I have to. Alright. Man, I haven't played against Ripples in like months, and then suddenly it's like we, we just we just run into it. Like sure. <laughs> sure thing, bro. <laughs> this deck's funny. I this is this is funny. Ooh. Alright, we can put Daikaiser in for Daikaiser. Just to be on grade three sooner, I guess. No, you can ask if it's worth it, I guess. We'll see how he rushes. If he we read how he acts this turn, if he starts like rushing me and stuff, then we we do it. If he doesn't, then we can afford to kind of like be you know but he's like such a giga chat. He played through like non stop like blank defense checks. But even then, you know, he persevered. Oh, now he's now he's really channeling Hamon right here. All right, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to use the the ancient powers. We can actually use Meek on turn two, which is also pretty good. All right, we get a draw. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right, so we ride Die Heart. We can use Mika. We get the Dayusha as well. It's actually pretty good. It's actually really good. All right, so you know, usual course of action. We need to get pushing. Get pushing. Um, and we stop there, I guess. As much as I would like to push harder, but we stop there. Alright, so. We continue. We have to ride up here before he rushes me to 4. And I'm barely dealing enough damage to die brave. That's gonna be good, actually, for later on. Alright, no triggers, that's fine. That's okay. He gets another draw, that's the third trigger he's checked out of three trigger checks, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine! <laughs> Alright. Go into that, Kaiser. God, die! 
<laughs> oh my god. My son is back. Although he's feeling a little bit rebellious today. But it's okay. He just goes into Genovius every time. Damn, does he even run the break ride? I can never catch what his other grade 3 is, so... Can't really tell. I can actually be a little bit cheeky this turn. I can be a, just a little bit cheeky. I could actually die Kaiser over that Kaiser. I'm not sure if it's worth it just to push damage. Just to push damage. I oh, never mind, he didn't actually hit. What an amazing moment. What an amazing moment. Uh, in that case... In that case, I know what we're doing. We're calling this. We're calling this. And we're calling this... I kind of want to call it here instead. Even though this has a higher chance of hitting because we go like rear, rear to van. And then this is 14, 21 with a 7k. Um, so we definitely push him to 3 and then he's in lethal range. He's in within range of Killer Queen's uh, stand power. But then I'm kind of like in a weird position if he heals. Because if he heals I have to like hit. But I guess I have Die Dragon so it should be okay. Alright, just believe. The, you know, if I'm playing a super robot deck, logic is the last thing I should be thinking about. It's all about fighting spirit and the power to persevere. And I am full of that. No brain, all brawn, just run it. <laughs> just run it. Alright, no limit break for him, so no crazy restanding shenanigans for him either. Glory. Alright. Is he just going to give me the fourth damage here? Perhaps. Draw, that's the second Genovius gone, so that's good news. Alright. That's two Genovius is down. I think he gets to search here. We heal out a limit break, but that's actually not too bad. That's not too bad, because I can just like... I can actually not swing with Vanguard here. Just to keep the triggers in deck. Only problem is now I don't have the booster for Mika. It's the only bad part. Mm. I guess I can set up double intercept from the way that he's acting. From the way he's been acting up a little bit. I can definitely do that, and then like swing with this into this rear, and then swing... No, swing with Vanguard into this rear first, put, put any potential triggers on the Mika, and then if I don't get any, then I trade the other rear with the Die Brave. I think that's a fine course of action. Alright, here we go. Swing a rear. Ooh, go cannon, I would have liked that. Alright, we just trade rears here, I guess. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. He seems pretty aggressive to push me to 4 to be able to do his restand combo, so I'm just gonna pass on that, I guess. I'm gonna just pass on that, I guess. I am giving him time to gather PGs, though, which is the only bad part. <laughs> it's the only bad part of all this, but aside from that, we are fine. Valeria, two times? The two-time Valeria champion? The champion? Alright, Vanguard swing. Wait, what is his condition? Oh, damn it. Ah, see, this is what sucks. This is what sucks, is that now break riding is <laughs> not going to happen, apparently. Apparently it's not even going to happen. I guess the search, what did he find? Genovia, so we know he has it. Alright, we continue the operation to deny limit break at all costs. The mission is clear. Alright, we continue doing this. Peak gameplay, by the way, but I must run it back. It is in my blood to run it back. Alright, get like a Genovius damage, please. <laughs> Just get a Genovia's damage check so I know you don't have any more. But at this point, one is enough, to be honest. That's good news. That's good news. Alright, so he's like, all glories are gone, so the nightmare will not come back. Two heals are down, I believe. Yeah, alright. Ooh, my man is going so aggressive just for this. It feels like he has two PGs in hand, though. Like, from the way he's been acting, it really feels like it. Wouldn't you say? Would you not agree with him? Do you agree with him? <laughs> so, let's go. Alright, ah, oh, Mika, no. Come back. I need you right now. The answer is... Ooh, grade 2 in hand. Alright. Did he find one on the first check? I can't remember. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Here we go. Oh. Come on. Come on. This time, you will not stand in our way, baby. Alright, here we go. The time is... The time is here, is what I'm trying to say. Alright, here we go. Show me them PGs, baby. Run the PGs. Show me the triggers. It's time. Show the justice sword. Loud and clear, baby. That's right. There we go. There we go. That's more like it. Show me them PGs. He always has them. 
I'm actually in, it's insane that he does, but he does. All right, no limit break for you then. I know he has a great two and a Genovius in hand, so that means that he has Genovius in hand, great two in hand, and something else that leaves the Genovius. I have one PG in hand, so even if he rushes me to the Vanguard, I'm still fine. Ah, uh, but this is a really bad situation for me. I need, to, I need a draw trigger. That's exactly what I needed. All right, no chance of healing for him here either. And it doesn't hit either, so my PG doesn't get used up. Dykeiser top tech is pretty good. Um, I think the mission here is quite straightforward. We swing into rear with Dykeiser. We swing into van with this, given the lunar break. Potentially get shot next turn, but it's okay because normally his hand is Genovius plus the card he drew. If it's not a PG, we're fine. And if he doesn't check one of his last two heals, it's also fine. Alright, in that case, the answer is clear. All right, here we go. <sighs> it's time. Do or die. All or nothing. The, the, the calling. It is all about this moment. Ladies and gentlemen. Great Dayusha's limit break. Piercing the heavens. And bringing forth a brighter future. In which my opponent doesn't 6 damage heal. Please, for the love of God. I just want to be free. <laughs> We did it, y'all. Totally. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I hate this. I hate when I am so excited about a deck to show it off and be like, yo, look at all these cool strategies and all these cool little interactions that this deck has. And like, you can choke their limit break and do all these things. And then, I mean, I guess we did choke his limit break pretty well that game, but <sighs> I'm somehow disappointed in myself while also being really happy with these games. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's let's wrap things up, shall we? So, this was the Daikaiser Great Daisha deck build. I think this deck is still like a pretty solid tier two. You know, these games look pretty pepega, but the deck is definitely really really solid. Die Hard is an amazing addition. Daikaiser literally, you know, he defines games. He forces opponents to like keep PGs in their opening hands and stuff like that. So it's definitely like you know, it's something that the opponent needs to be ready to play against. And you know, you've noticed basically the the last two games where our opponent had the extra PG on both the break right turns, and then like the Schwachio player, even if she like you know we didn't check one there but i feel like she was also keeping one too you know just to be safe because you have to otherwise you get one shot by this deck from three damage and that's also very very important and you know done on stream too like games where you know you open go cannon on the break right turn you like take them two to six and it's just like you know it feels pretty great but anyway that's gonna be it for this Kaiser slash great daisha deck and fight so for set 14 meta Kaiser is still gonna get more support with great Kaiser, the one that gains an extra drive check so it's gonna be pretty exciting once that comes out, I'm personally going to be really, really hyped for when that actually happens, and it's probably going to be pretty soon because we only have three more sets of Link Joker left unless they decide to port it forward into Legion, which could happen, but I'm not too sure. But anyway, this is probably the longest deck and fight I've been presenting so far, but I think these three games were pretty fun. Showed basically the kind of the way that the deck works. I'm not sure if you really got to see many weaknesses outside of I'm not really sure Link Joker being a tough matchup, but usually it's actually pretty fine. But you know, it is what it is. If you want to see more gameplay of this deck, check out my Twitch. I'm still going to be playing this deck for a very long time, you know, this is the deck that, like, once I built it in the TCG in, what, 2013, 24, 2013, I think it was, or 14, I can't remember, but once I did, you know, basically, like, stuck with this deck for years, 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 and just kept updating it, so if you want to see more of it, I'll be playing it for future sets as well, so make sure you check that out as well, but on that note, though, that's going to be it for me today, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time, bye-bye.